The audience heard her screaming, I don't want to die, and then screaming for help. But help would not come. Hello, true crimerers. This is another Deaths at Theme Parks. Viewer discretion is advised. Pictured here was 20-year-old Kelty Byrne, and she worked at a place called Sealand of the Pacific. It was basically like a, a lower-end kind of knockoff sea world, if you will. Of course, animals are either bred in captivity or they were captured from the wild and brought to places like this to entertain. Well, one day um, there was a show going on and Kelty was a part of the show and there were three orca whales inside the tank. One of those orca whales is someone we're familiar with on this page because I've talked about him a couple of times. That would be Tilikum the whale. The other whale was named Nootka, and the last one was Haida, or Haida, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. On February 20th, 1991, Kelty was standing just kind of on the edge of the tank. Kelty would then slip into the pool, um, and she tried to swim out, but before she could actually grab the ledge, one of the orcas grabbed her and began to pull her around the tank or the pool. It's believed at this point the whales were not really aware what the hell was going on. They thought this was probably some kind of game or what? I mean, these are animals that shouldn't have been in the tank to begin with, but basically what happened next was a nightmare. Between the three orca whales, they were tossing Kelty around like she were a toy, like she was a rag doll. They would pull her into the water and drag her beneath to the point where she was, you know, almost drowned. And then they would bring her back up to the surface. And then you allegedly could hear her screaming, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And then screaming bloody murder, screaming for help. And there were trainers who were nearby who were doing everything they could, but they were unmatched with three, you know, giant orca whales. This went on for quite a long period of time as she's essentially being tortured. She's being dragged underneath, she's being tossed around, she's being kind of yanked by two whales, and eventually um, they bring her down below um, for far too long, and she ends up drowning. They would not be able to retrieve her body for at least like two to three hours or so. She was bruised and she had bite marks all over her. I can't, I can't even imagine that. I can't, I, that's just, that's just horrific. These animals should not be in places like this. 